Hi everyone, my name is uh, Xu Xiangyu, and uh, I today and I will show my work with you. And, uh, my work name is uh, a lightweight two laser blockchain mechanism for reliable crossing domain communication in smart cities. The smart city is an emerging notion that is leveraging the internet of since technology to achieve more comfortable and smart cities. However, smart city face many challenges. First, smart city is a huge and complex system and various devices are mainly not interoperable between them. Secondly, many data generated are privacy sensitive, such as user identity. Therefore, it is challenging to implement a reliable and a privacy guaranteed cross domain data communication network within and between smart cities. In order to solve the problem, there is a key to discussing, producing many rep representative values. These schemes prove that blockchain as the infrastructure can well organize the interactions within the distributed system and ensure the data integrity. Therefore, we could adopt blockchain to solve the problem of cross-domain communication within the between smart cities. However, the application of blockchain in IoT has many drawbacks. First, the cost of computation of a traditional blockchain is so high that it doesn't apply to most IoT devices because the computing resources are limited. How to balance the reliability and the efficiency of blockchain could be a problem. Second, blockchain is a public distributed ledger and uh, any participant has the right access or information on the chain. This privacy protection brings challenges. In this article, we designed a lightweight blockchain based on two ladder blockchain to meet the cross domain communication requirements of smart cities to address the mentioned issue. Our contributions are as follows. We adopt a laser network structure to op optimize the consumption of computing resources and realize access control. Second, we design a lightweight consensus protocol for the subchain, which enables the nodes to reach agreements to port data dynamically manage the credit value of each node. Then we will, we will briefly introduce a scheme, including subchain, global chain, the blockchain structure reconstructed, and a consensus protocol based on reputation evolution. Subchain is a private blockchain used to track and record the interactions and the reputation information of various nodes within a city and has a series of policies to constitute access and control management. It's necessary to introduce the password mechanism to encrypt the data. Considering the limited store resources and of terminal devices, we only store the block header information in the terminal devices, better store the complete copy of a quantum book in the edge devices. The edge devices upload a copy of ledger to the cloud server, releasing storage resources. Considering the limited computing resources of terminal and the edge devices, we introduce a new consensus protocol based on average reputation value fusion to estimate eliminate the influence of bad nodes in the network. Then, in order to facilitate the collaborative work between regions within cities and between smart cities, we constructed smart city clusters. Cloud server clusters in their respective cities can form a cross-domain distributed network on which we try to deploy the parent chain. As we all know, it's unreasonable to deploy the blockchain based on proof of work protocol on these devices. Therefore, we reconstructed a new blockchain for the subchain. Blockchain, block structure. A block, is a, a block in subchain consists of a heater and a body 
whose structure is shown in table one, including the current block hash, the previous block hash, reputation root, strategy table, time step, and the transaction root. The book body is composed of a reputation tree and a transaction tree. The reputation value of each subchain node is recalculated after suspicious behaviors, such as violating the access control policy and the creation of invalid blocks or transactions. Transaction structure. The transaction structure is shown in table two, where we define the microscale transaction data structure in detail, including the initiator devices ID, the target ID, initiator signature, and additional data segments. The data structure take up very little storage spaces and uh, save the limited storage resources. Data processing. Every new node is assigned a pair of public and private key before entering the domain. The unique ID of each node comes from its own public key to ensure the ensure the anonymity. When a node receives a transaction, it must verify the signature of the transaction message to ensure the integrity and the authorization of the transaction message. And the transactions that are not validated are discarded. In order to minimize the computational over overhead of terminal and edge devices, we use lightweight hash digest algorithm because it is considered to have a high performance in both program size and the cycle counting. Storage release. The, cap the capacity of terminal and the edge equipment is limited. So we can infer the use frequency of equipment and try to backup the data when the use frequency is low. After data backup is complete, terminal and edge devices need to free up memory in a timely manner. In this section, we introduce the reputation evolution me mechanism for subchain nodes and the consensus mechanism. When a new node joins a domain, other nodes set an uh, initial credit cre value of 100 for that node. When other nodes consider the node to be a binary node, the credit value is reduced according to illegal operation of the node. This value can be increased when the node execute the correct command or feedback. Considering the different transactions have different characteristics, we add the weighted factor of the transaction into the credit evolution. We should also consider the timelines of the date when the evolution, when evaluating the reputation of a node. So we specify the node traverse and evolutes each transaction record at time t. In this way, the credit value of each node is evaluated by other nodes that interact directly with it and updated dynamically. Consensus protocol. In order to make our nodes reach a final agreement on the state of the ledger, we need a consensus, consensus agreement. We design a lightweight consensus protocol based on the reputation evolution mentioned above. We adopt, we adopt the mercy of selection a node dedication to be responsible for bookkeeping and generating a new blocks, with the node in the dedication taking turns to be responsible for bookkeeping and blocking production in a specific order. We propose a strategy, strategy one on and a strategy two for the subchain as a basis for delegation elections and uh, mixed two strategies as a consensus agreement for the subchain. Strategy one, randomly select subchain nodes as minor on the premise that one more than half of subchain nodes are trusted. Uh, trusted, we can randomly select a subchain need to be responsible for transaction collections block packing and the release, releasing in the producing block. Strategy two, vote for the subchain nodes as minor. Under the premise of a major majority of the chain, we can select first any nodes for candidate nodes according to 
descent ranking of nodes reputation constitute a such as and the choose K online nodes to constitute the final mining executive set E. Node in set E take turns as a miner until all nodes in E were traveled and the reselection of E should be triggered. If the ledger is uh, bifurcated, then we can assume that the credit value of nodes within S will change, so we need uh, to reselect S. In this way, user can adjust each threshold to adopt to different security needs or security environment, and uh, the subchain will adjust the system state timely according to the security threshold set by user. And actively isolate the Byzantine nodes with great influence to further reduce the influence of Byzantine nodes. Block resists within a constant time. Our nodes will agree with the current status of the blockchain system. Our nodes will store a consensus block that store the hash value of the previous blocks. And this consensus block will act as a new genesis block. The block data will be stored in a server for inspection when it is needed to let when it is needed in the letter. In this section, we conduct an experiment to evaluate the performance of our proposed blocking chain system. We implement, we implement the nose reputation value in three different manners, as shown in the figure. With the time increase, the reputation of a malicious node will go down in our mercy, and uh, the reputation of a malicious node in our mercy is lower than that of other mercy. So the attack executed by the malicious by the malicious node can be protected better in our design. That's all my work. Thanks for thank you for listening.